Okay, hey, hey, good day, good day. It's Tane here at Draw a Crowd Caricatures, and uh, today we're just going to do what we did yesterday, really, just a bunch of little speed drawings of random celebrities. It's good practice, really, just to do a whole bunch of little caricatures, because you know, once you you haven't spent time drawing, um, I, I've been a bit lazy in the last couple of weeks, and I kind of feel like I've lost touch a little bit. So with a bit more, bit more. Uh, bit more practice, we'll get there, and we'll start seeing some really cool results. But the cool thing is about, you know, this live stream, guys, is you'll see me make all the mistakes, and you'll see that I don't get it perfect every time. No one gets it perfect every time, and, uh, but it's just good fun, uh, to, to kind of see it happen and follow along. Um, I should mention that I also have this Patreon page that's new. Um, it's a thing, you can support me on that, that'd be really great. And you can actually get some exclusive tutorials on there, as well as the ability to uh, to tell me, uh, you know, which car which celebrities to draw. So you can challenge me to draw specific celebrities at a certain level of support. And another level of support on Patreon, you can actually send me a photo of you or your friend, and I can draw you guys on the stream, and you can see how I exaggerate you or your friend. That sounds like a lot of fun, and uh, a whole lot of other stuff as well. Coming up with a free course for caricature and Blah blah blah. But anyway, that's the housekeeping out of the way. Let's get down to business. And um, I think at this point, we'll have a look at, uh, I don't know, let's just, let's do the random celebrity thing. I'm on this uh, randomcelebritygenerator.com website. Well, okay, well that's, that's stupid. I'm not going to draw that. <laughs> Is that a joke? Are you messing with me, son? Oh, Betty White. Okay, that's interesting. Um, okay, let me bring up the uh, chat, of course. I'm just going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. And I'm on chat if you guys want to ask questions and uh, and get involved and all that sort of good fun stuff. Now, we've got uh, got Betty White. This is a bit of a challenge because, I mean, this this... I find females a little bit more difficult than males, because males just have some crazy angular features that you can really muck around with. Um, but uh, if we're talking to female, drawing a female first thing in the morning, and uh, and I'm feeling a little bit tired, and I'm not really 100%, uh, we're talking we're talking a real challenge here. But that's what I'm here to do, man. I'm here to challenge myself, and uh, and you guys can just take a look and and grab some tips from it, and do do ask questions in the chat and get involved and all that sort of thing. Uh, so, where's that timer? Let's bring up a timer here and we'll, we'll set it to, let's say, set it to five minutes and then we'll kind of go over a bit if we want to add some more details. So, so, so. I've got three layers here. I've got, I've got the sketch layer, I've got the color layer, and I've got the line layer, and I'll just kind of work with them as we go along. Um, Betty White, Betty White. So, really, when you look straight at a face, you kind of want to decide what you're going to exaggerate straight up and i suppose i'll just um it might be the nose it's not it's not tall but it's uh it's fairly uh fat at the end i guess i'll, I'll make the the face kind of wide-ish and the hair is going to be very boofy because it's boofy hair so let's go ahead and, and get right into the sketching muck around like that all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna plan out hmm the width and the tallness of the eyes, the height, not tallness, is that even a word? And we'll see how we can, how we go. She's got some cheeks that uh, the bear kind of, sort of, might as well work with those a little bit. She does have a chin, I'm not going to say she doesn't. And this is, uh, the opacity on this brush is very small. I'll just turn it up for you guys. And, okay. Oh, I forgot to actually set the timer. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Now, some buffy hair. I think those eyebrows are very, um... Okay, so I can, I can see the likeness in that sketch. That's what I want, and I can move straight on to actually going ahead and doing some line work. Let's go ahead and put those eyes in. 
Now I'm paying attention to how what the shape of the eyes is. Gee, this uh, this brush is really quite low opacity. I don't like it. Let me let me pause this and see if I can get some. Oh yeah, see, flow is at fifty percent. Why? Let's go ahead and start that timer again, and just paying attention to how how the eyes are actually shaped. Because I don't want to just kind of lose focus and start drawing the usual cartoon eyes that I draw by default. That's that's the trap, you see. You see. And, uh... I think yesterday the brush was going really slow. It's still going quite slow today, but it's a little bit better. I've kind of s fixed some Photoshop settings and... And kind of sped it up a little bit. And it also helps because uh, last time I was actually working on an A4 document, which was... See, now at this point, I want to bring that mouth up closer to the nose because it's just... When you when you have a character with a, with a big chin, you want to bring the mouth up closer to the nose and you can get more priority on the chin that way. And just paying attention to the shape of that chin. Kind of juts out a little bit. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. What are you doing? We have a bit of lag here on the brush. It's so annoying. But it's workable. I'll work with it. We're okay. We're okay. Shh, shh, shh. Take deep breaths. And then we'll go ahead and bring some this now I, I wish I kind of started with a thicker brush because I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh... not seeing a whole lot of um, dimension or sort of You kind of want different line thicknesses. It kind of makes it uh, makes it better. Oh, why did you set yourself to black? So we've got some big buffy hair. Let's bring it right out. Let's make it really exaggerated. Let's just buff the heck out of that thing. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm drawing hair in kind of a in a flowing motion in small patches of three each, kind of thing. Alright, I'm ready to kind of move on to some better detail here. I should have really gone with a maybe a medium brush. And get get the heck out. Bring my flow back up to 100, please. Uh why is my brush still grey? Okay, let me let me pause this. Cause it's just screwing with me. Brush, 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 brush. I don't want opacity. Bloody transfer, no opacity due to thanks. It's all good. Um, why am I still getting a grey brush when I've, I'm clearly on black? Oh, you see? Alright, alright. I've got the sketch layer actually set to... Um... 100%. I've made a big mistake here, guys. I've actually, I've done the line work on the sketch layer. Uh, but, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll just work with it. I think I can actually probably, um, to get rid of that under sketch, I can probably use a particular blend mode. Let me remember what that is. It might be screen. Oh, nope. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use screen to, oh, sh Is it color dodge? Oh, there we go. It's kind of getting rid of some of the uh, the background sketch. Just want to clean it up a little bit because I want to go into the coloring later on, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time for that. I've I've buggered around, kind of fixing my brushes and mucking around like that. So what I'll just do is um, I'll finish this off with a black and white sketch and. Uh, and I won't go too far into the colouring because uh, 
I really should have just done the line work on a separate layer to the sketch layer. Not really on the ball this morning, man. So looking at the uh, sort of the makeup of the eyes is very much a part of her identity. So I'll go ahead and make those thicken up those edges of the eyes there because she's got some got some of that stuff going on. I'm going to set that sketch layer to a little bit, a little smaller. And we might actually go ahead and just do a better line work. I've paused the timer and I think we'll just do a better kind of, a better job of this. And then next round we'll do a quick speed sketch. Okay, just, uh, you know, when you're drawing cartoons and caricatures, it's nice to kind of have a flow. Sort of a, I don't know, when, you, when you're sketching, you kind of, that's when you work out the flow of the face. And everything's kind of flowing downwards and to the right-ish. But um, I'll kind of explain that more as I go along. I kind of like my drawings when they have more flow. And what I do, guys, is I kind of, I, I draw the eye pupils last because, I don't know, when you, when you draw pupils, they kind of distract you for the rest of the drawing. It's kind of funny. And let's draw some hair detail. Nothing too fancy. I'm kind of liking this caricature so far. I like, uh, I like its flow. I like its uh, character. I don't know much about Betty White, this particular random celebrity that we're drawing, but um, it looks like the photo at least. So as you can see, I do I do the hair strokes kind of in little individual clumps, and that gives it a bit more a bit more depth and a bit more volume. Okay, so we've got kind of a, a pretty good basis. Let me go ahead and do those pupils. And you know, when you, I find the pupils are pretty tricky because when you draw them in, there's quite a lot of ways you can kind of mess up your whole caricature if you don't do them quite right. If you do the pupils, I mean the you know the iris and the pupils too big, or So as a, as a thing I do on these streams, guys, I kind of, I, I critique my own drawings as I go along. And at this point, I would have made those eyes squintier and closer together. So I, I, I think I'm going to just do that. I'm going to grab this. No, not the perspective warp, you silly fool. Knig it. I'm going to bring the eyes down, size them down a little bit more. Make it a little bit squintier, maybe. But I mean, that's 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 good enough. We'll just roll ahead. We won't be too fussy. So 
So I pro uh, I'm I'm kind of happy with the smile, but I would have um, because her smile in her smile the teeth are actually closer together. She doesn't have a smile this wide, but um, I mean, it's good enough. And what I would have liked to have done is just do a bit of a bit more variation of line. In this, that's my my gripe with this particular drawing, is I would have liked to have done the edges in a bit of a thicker line and give, given everything a bit more priority and stuff. But how about we do that in the next drawing and we'll kind of, we'll start a new drawing and we'll kind of color it as well and we'll do a bit more of a better job. But overall, the likeness is, is, is good enough. Um, just gonna get rid of it. Alright, just get rid of that, and then we'll find out what our next random celebrity is. Let's have a look. Give me something easy. It's too early in the morning. Marlin Ackerman. Okay. Another female. But I can already see where what I would do to exaggerate this particular face. Alright, let's give this a go. Sketching. Right away. Got the brush. Everything's good. I'm going to set my sketch color to blue, just so I can differentiate it from everything else. I mean, for me, this uh, this person is... She's got sort of close cropped eyes. Very arched eyebrows. Now the thing is here, I've drawn that nose too long, and her nose isn't that long, it's just quite sharp, that's all. And I'm looking at the chin and going, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a bit of chin we can work with here. But you don't want to draw the chins too big on the females, because it just looks kind of weird, it looks a bit too manly. Now, in this case, I would definitely like to accentuate the forehead rather than anything. But right now, I'm doing, just doing a really loose sketch. I'm not going to get totally perfect. And just plan out where all the features are going to go. Now, she has quite a, a large volume of hair on the top. I've gone, I've gone and made that same mistake, and I'm going to bring this drawing down a little bit, so we've got a bit more space in the in the canvas. And uh, no, get out of my way, you silly fool! You. All right, and now we'll just go ahead and plan out. Are you going to let me let me brush? What's your deal? Oh, it's set to white. Why is it set to white? Gah! All right, here's our loose plan. I like it. I can see a little bit of a little bit of um, likeness in there. I might bring the hair down a little bit more. Now I'm going to set that sketch layer to a lower opacity. I'm going to start drawing on the line layer, which we should have done before. And we'll grab that black brush, kind of zoom in a little bit maybe. And we'll start off with the eyes. I think it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, a bit nicer kind of maybe without the timer in my face. <laughs> uh, the brush is going a little bit slow, so coloring in is is an absolute horror. I'm not getting the smooth lines that I want, but um, overall we should be able to get away with it. Now 
And she's got a lot of eye makeup. I might have to come back to that because uh, it's just drawing drawing that on this tablet with this slow as heck brush is just a horror. I'm going to go ahead and do some more exciting things. Let's do the nose, which has a little bobble at the end. And you kind of you kind of looking at the uh, yes, uh, Bob and Joshi. This will be recorded um, and it will be available on YouTube. Some of these streams uh, might be available exclusively only to my Patreon supporters later on, but uh, for now, you can refer to it um, once it's kind of uh, finished, and I'll make it public. All right, so maybe I'll, I'll, I'll kind of make that the mouth a little bit less tall. Give me the brash, come on. I've really got to set up some more economic shortcuts to save myself some time on this on this tablet, but uh Now she seems to have quite a bit of uh bit of side to the face. I gotta get that line right. No, come on. Alright, that's pretty good. And uh of course, doing that curl. I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting rid of this uh, sketch layer a little bit more, and we'll start seeing some likeness come through. <laughs> hey, Flip, Terraria is uh, is pretty much priority one. I I can I can relate to that. I remember I was uh, I played Terraria just freaking every day for about like four months and I woke up in a, in a pool of my own liquids and uh and just covered in sade sauce and all my cats were gone and I had a well, my beard had fallen out and the whole thing you know there was just point was that I spent a lot of time playing Terraria and uh I can I can get where you're coming from with that Yes, I did put the links in now. They weren't there last time because I actually couldn't find where the live stream thingy was in YouTube. It's quite hard to find. It's trippy. YouTube's kind of live streaming uh, system is pretty poopy, but, you know, I'm not judging. Well, I, yeah, I am, but I'll say that I'm not. So going a little bit slower here because... Now, you always kind of pull the neck down from where the ear is. And then, uh, then you kind of go from there. And let's have a look at the teeth, maybe. Shall we zoom in and kind of have a look at the teeth? I'm kind of, I'm liking the framework of what we've got so far. I would have liked a bit more line, weight, variation, but uh, we can we can work with what we've got. Okay. I'm going to chance it and go with the uh the, the eyes today. Straight up. I'm I usually leave them till very last, but um I think I got away with that. That looks okay. Uh what we really want though is you can you can definitely see that she has a lot of that eye eyeliner type of thing going on. So I'm going to really play up that a little bit more. She's got it all the way around her eyes, and that's uh that that becomes a lot of becomes a big part of someone's identity when they use that much makeup. Really changes the how how things look on the face and how they relate to each other. So last time uh, we had a lot of trouble with the eye, with the brush going really slow. It's still going pretty slow, but uh, it's working now because I'm using a smaller canvas. I went into Photoshop settings and I disabled. Uh, I disabled. Uh, I think it was like hardware acceleration or something, 
which apparently just used GPO for no particular reason. So thanks again, Adobe, for you, for your stellar uh, development. Jeez, angry rants this morning. Um, I might have to just tone that down a little bit. Stay positive. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got this kind of framework, and I, I, I like that. I kind of like that. Um, what I might do is, uh, as, a, as a critique, I, I would actually bring the eyes in a little bit more. Because her eyes are closer together than that, like, as I perceive them. Hey, what are you doing? And then I might just kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, what do you reckon, guys? Should we color this? Should we just go ahead and, and detail this? Or should we go into another one? It's up to you. Ow. You know what? As another critique, I definitely would have made her, uh, her forehead bigger. Definitely. Like, I would have made it a uh, bulbous like this. Because it kind of... Yeah. Um, I might, I, I guess I'll do a quick coloring. Uh, but I'm not really going to go too far into this one, I don't think. So I'll grab some of these uh, pre-made swatches I've got for sort of Caucasian skin colors. And I'll just go ahead and color this in. I'm going to be really loose with the coloring because because I can, you know, like uh, it gives it a funny little uh, a looseness that's actually kind of appreciated. You don't have to get it perfect. And of course we'll whiten the eyes and the teeth. Um, at some stage of this, I think I started to lose uh, a little bit of likeness, and I'm not sure. I think it's in the eyes. Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll color the uh, the eyes in, and you know we can go from there. But uh, I think I would have spent a bit more time on the eyes here. And, um, yeah. Just a quick colouring in. I think when I moved the eyes, it upset the balance a little bit. Yes, 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 yes. But, uh, yeah. It's got, it's got enough of the likeness. I'm, you know, I'm okay with it. And, uh, just do a darker. Darker shade for some hair shading. I think I've got a little, a little, uh, little hair shading brush that I could use. Oh yeah, that's nice. Just for a quicker kind of deal. I don't want to spend too much time on it. I think I've spent enough time on this already. I'm ready to just kind of move along and let's do something more interesting. Um, oh, you know what? We've really got to color in those eyebrows, don't we? Anyway, pretty loose. And possibly not one of my favorite ones. <laughs> but, uh, eh. It'll do. First thing in the morning. Has she got freckles? I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. 
Let's move on. More practice, you get better ones. And uh, I'm hoping to get some better ones. I think what I don't like about it is that it's, it doesn't have a lot of flow. It's very, it, it's very static. Like there's not a whole lot of brush line variation, th thickness variation, and the face doesn't kind of flow as much as some other caricatures that I that I kind of like to do. Let's do a different celebrity. Let's kind of work it out. Kind of work out how to make a, a better caricature overall. Ah, oh, <laughs> John Ratzenberger. All right, let's roll. Let's do this. Let's do it. I love his face. It's fantastic. Um, what I might just do is... Let's show his layers. Get rid of them. Just set up my canvas for another one. Now, guys, uh, feel free to ask questions in the tutorial in the um, in the chat if you like. What I'm going to do is just going to set up some more layers. We got a sketch layer, and we're ready to go. Now, let's let's go. Let's be really loose with the sketch this time. Really loose, and you'll find that we get a lot more energy in the final kind of drawing. I'm just going to really kind of really loosen this up. Now for, for this guy, for me, is, is, is his sort of, he got this buck teeth thing going on, which I like. And I think we can do a better job. So for me, a better job means a more energetic caricature. And I'm happy with that sketch. I don't want to spend too much time on that. I'm ready to move along. I might start off with the nose. Oh wow, catch up. <laughs> and... What I'm going to do is... I, 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 I decided to leave a little bit more space between his nose and his mouth. As I just perceived that so I went outside of my sketch lines you can always do that don't don't see your sketch as the final way you're going to draw because as you go along you might perceive different things about the face and you can add those in as you go now come on give me a give me a decent line here all right so I've got a bit more um, I think I'm going a bit. Going, I'm going to go a bit slower and more careful with this one, because I like. I just like making a better drawing overall. Now his eyebrows, they definitely curve upwards, and his eyes are tiny. He's squinting. And, you know, even at this stage, I might even go ahead and rub out what I've done here and leave a bit more space between the nose and the mouth. When people have, like, mustaches and sort of facial hair, it does affect the spacing of everything. And it really does, it makes it seem like there's more space between the nose and the mouth. And he's got some decent crow's feet happening. I can already see we're getting a better caricature this time, just because of the flow of the original sketch. It just looks so much better. And uh, his ears are big, but they don't, they don't stick out too much. They're just kind of tall. I'm going to get rid of the sketch layer now, and I'm going to go ahead and continue moving along. I 
and just doing a bit of that uh, upper head shape. Now because I've decided to really make that lower half of his face quite large, I'm going to decide to make the top half of his face, the part above the eyes, smaller. I know I've said this several times in other videos, but um, it just... Uh, I'll go into it a bit more detail in some of my other tutorials. And you know, you got to put that bow tie in, man. Check it out. That's, that is fantastic. That is illustrious. Alright, now we're ready to just go into some colouring, I think. And... What if I selected kind of a, a pinker... A pinker shade. Just because he's a bit more of a heavy set dude. Ah, uh, you know what? Nah. I'll go back to my original kind of... Standard Caucasian skin tone. I've already got uh, it kind of you know, you save yourself a lot of time if you set up some swatches beforehand um, And I usually use the same swatches for like most caricatures Especially when you're kind of trying to do them, you know quickly like we are here Come on, Mr. Brush, catch up with me. We're trying to make this quick. Alright, and then a little bit of the white in the eyes. Yep, 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 yep. Now I'm using a little shortcut uh, on my keyboard to... to change the size and the hardness of the brush. And that is uh, Alt, Right, Click. Ah, oh, we're already <laughs> we've already done five minutes. Yeah, give me a little bit more time to um to really fix this guy up because I know we can make a decent caricature out of this one. I was happy with the sketch phase, and that means we're going to be happy with what we do afterwards. So it's all about that, I think. I'd rather we did a a, a, a nice, big, convincingly good caricature. Instead of many, many tiny, less good ones. <laughs> so if you've already drawn things and you, and you don't want to draw over them, but you want to brush beside them, you can set the blend mode to behind, and then it'll only draw behind what you've drawn, and it won't kind of go over the top of what you've already done. And uh, I'm going to set it back to normal. I'm going to color in his mouth a bit. And then we'll go ahead and colour in his uh, his facial hair, which is obviously white. Yep, looking good. Now he's got some pretty red lips, doesn't he? Uh, what we might do is, I'm going to select that skin colour and just uh, bring it a bit more towards the red range. See if we can get a nice swatch to do some lips with. There we go. And we might have introduced a little bit of grey into the beard because there are there are spots of grey hanging around. Now at this point, uh, what I want to do is do a little bit of uh, a little bit of skin shading. I kind of feel like we could make this into something. Wow. Yeah, see the brush is still going slow. When you do when you use a large brush and you're trying to record at the same time, it takes a while to catch up. Okay. And then we'll do a little bit of skin shading because I want to do some skin shading. I can see that there's some shadow underneath his eyes and his eyes are a little bit uh 
around his eyes there's, there's some darkness that could be could be worth playing around with Just doing some really loose kind of shading around the sides of his face, maybe. Keep it nice and quick. Nothing special. And then uh, we'll do some highlights because I like highlights. Check this out. You know, you get your white brush, you do a couple of little little highlights every now and again. And it just really brings some some goodness out. Bit more bit more form, because in the real world, like highlights on on surfaces, are basically most of what we need to find out the texture and the direction of of a form and all that sort of thing. I won't go too hard into that. That's more of a digital painting kind of dealio. But here we go. We've got this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it at that. That looks pretty good. Uh, if I was to critique this, I would... I would probably exaggerate it even more. I'd make his forehead... You, I could actually... You could go the other way too. You could you could make the forehead large and the, ch and the lower half of the face even bigger. You could go both ways. But n the next time I would probably... I'd make his face wider, maybe, um, and that'd probably work out. So what we're going to do here, I'm just going to merge those layers, get rid of them, shrink them down. I'm going to I'm going to make her smaller because I just I really don't like that one. <laughs> Get out of my face. And we'll move along. We will move right along. What do we got here? Yeah. Next, next, next. I kind of like having this car this uh, caricature practice. It's good. Gets me back into the game. Oh, Keanu Reeves. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get a better shot of him. Keanu Reeves. Reeve twos. Now you want to select a shot that looks like the celebrity, obviously, so you can get all the uh, the aspect. Uh huh. There are some pretty good shots here. Hmm. I might go with this one. Yep, we'll roll with that. Here we go, Keanu Reeves. And, uh... I might do is merge those, get rid of them. And set up some more. Layers. It's getting hot in here. If you guys can see that, just to make sure. Yep. All right. That's good. Set up some more layers. There we go. Sketch. Now, a quick sketch of Keanu Reeves. I, I'm seeing his his face shape as a kind of a diamond. He's got very, very squinty eyes. His eyebrows are wide. They don't kind of arch at all. Um, he's got kind of a long nose, I suppose. Ish. 
Um, the sides of his face, there's some... Um, There's some sort of, uh, whatever you call them, little kind of diamonding. Now at this point, you know, when we're doing our sketch, we want to we want to have a look at this and see if we've got enough of the likeness to continue. Um, I'm thinking I might make his nose a little bit longer. I might kind of rub that out. And we're doing a pretty recognizable celebrity here, so it's best to kind of get a bunch more sort of reference images of him. So you can get more get more aspects of his face. Oh yeah. Oh, he's, he's quite bony these days. All right, I'm going to say that's good enough in the sketch phase to go, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see what, uh, see what we come up with. I don't think his chin is that long. We'll kind of, we'll kind of cut it down a little bit. So I've got our sketch phase and I'm vaguely happy with that. And then we'll go into line. Bring my line down to about four pixels, maybe, for this. And I'll go ahead and paying attention to the shape of the nose. He's got a very straight nose. Kind of ends. So this is just like a big French fry that kind of sits down on his face. And, uh,. His eyebrows, there's something about his eyebrows. They kind of, they peter out. And now... What is it about his eyes that makes, makes Keanu Reeves special? It's hard to tell. Um, I'll, I'll say that's good enough for now. I'm not going to go too hard into the eyes right now. I'm not sure I have all the likeness yet, but uh, we'll move along and we'll do that, uh, do that stash. I'd probably make the eyes even smaller. I mean, these, this guy's eyes are so squinty, they're pretty intense. They're squinty, but they're not that, you know, they're, they're a little further apart than you'd expect. No, no, no. Give to me your selection. Relinquish to... No, you fool. Free transform the eye, thank you very much. Alright, now we've got, we've made it a bit more squinty and I'm seeing a bit more likeness in there. Just got to fix up the positioning of the eyes a little bit. Yeah, we've got a little bit more likeness happening there. So, just wanted to do that before we went forward. And... Just doing that beard detail. I just like to use really straight big lines for it. I'm not going to muck around too much. I might even exaggerate the cheekbones a little bit.
and then we'll see how we go from there. Uh, one could say that his eyebrow is a little bit thicker than that. I'll just give it a bit more thickness. See, I'm kind of working in here and seeing where I've got the likenesses and where I haven't. Um, let's just do some hair and see how we go. At the moment, I'm seeing that I, I've got some likeness in some areas, but other areas not really, but I'm not too sure where I've screwed up yet. <laughs> It's um, it's it's very intuitive. It's you do it a, a bunch of times and you kind of you start to get a feel for well, okay, I'm screwing up somewhere, but I don't know, don't quite know where. Um, I might make his eyebrows a little bit thinner than that. Yeah, it could have been the the width of his eyebrows are a bit too, a bit too much. And of course, color will help, but uh, sometimes you don't don't always have the luxury of color. Okay, how about we just start coloring this and see how we go. Um, and then we might get a bit of bit of a better idea of where we can improve. I mean, so far it's it's okay. It looks like the photo. I'm not sure if you could like straight up. You know, boom, identify that that's Keanu Reeves. Like, oh wow, you know, that's Keanu Reeves straight away. I know who that is. Um, but, you know, if you were going to do sit down and do a decent celebrity caricature, you would do a whole lot more sketches than just the one and then go straight into the one line work. You'd want to explore that celebrity's face, figure out what makes them different, and then you select the sketch that you like. And you work on that. Right now we only have the luxury of going with, you know, the first sketch that we come up with. It's not too bad. I'm not saying it's like, it's a failure, but it's alright. I, I know that when we put some colour in, the, it'll bring the likeness up a lot more. But I like to get to the point where I'm drawing black and whites with a lot of likeness without having to colour in to get some of that back. So going ahead and doing that facial hair. This is where I kind of suspected most of the likeness would come in, is when we start colouring in this uh, this facial hair, maybe. And I'm kind of thinking that uh, like his chin maybe isn't that big. It's just that his beard makes his chin look bigger. Kind of looks it makes it look kind of longer. And I might as well just go ahead and color in the eyes and the mouth really carefully. Um, I'm kind of seeing that uh, what I really wanted to do with this was bring the hair out a little bit more. See, so he's got a fair bit of volume in that hair. And sometimes he's got a bit of a, an overhang. So we're starting to see some more likeness come through. And 
And what I might like to do is do a little bit more... Good old fashioned skin shading. I'm just deciding on the right shade of color to use for this, really. And uh, I think at this point, what I would go ahead and try and fix up uh, would be the eyes, because they're not quite getting it yet. But it's it's good enough from from where it stands, I suppose. Okay. I'm willing to call that a done thing, and I'm just going to bring that over, get rid of it, and maybe just uh, critique it a little bit. Um, I would have liked to put a bit more texture in the beard if I had more time. I definitely would have fixed up the eyes; they're a little bit, a little bit off. Um, I would have gone in, maybe made them, uh, yeah. His eyes are, are, are weirder and squinty than that. They don't even seem to have a bottom eyelid in most photos. <laughs> Um, so, I would have fixed that up a little bit, but, uh, apart from that, yeah, it's okay. We've got enough of the light, the likeness in there to get away with it. Okay. Now let's go to the next one. I'm going to try and do a looser kind of... A looser sketch this time. Get a, get a bit more energy into it. Because the, the caricatures, that last one of Keanu Reeves was a bit stiff. Um, I think. What we might do... Set up some more layers. And... Let's choose our next random celebrity. Oh wow, okay. Mary Kay Ash. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I don't know who exactly that is, but that uh, should be easy enough to exaggerate, that's for sure. Okay. Let's start off doing a sketch. How about we set this to maybe seven minutes? Let's see how we go with that. And it gives me kind of a, a, a chance to I'm going to draw a simplified head shape. I'm going to transform it down because I'm going to need more space on this page for her hair, that's for sure. I think it's more about the hair than anything on this one, and the nose. Okay, I'm happy with the sketch, so I'm going to move along. And do some line work. Might even zoom in a little bit. No, 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 no. Come on, give me... Give me, say, let's say... Four pixels. Yeah, hell yeah, boggle eyes. And the thing about her eyes is that uh, because of the makeup, they kind of lean up towards one side. And...
Just working in that eye makeup a little bit. Yeah, we might go ahead and do that nose. And I, I'm kind of seeing that she's got a bit of a... She's got a fairly big nose. Hope she's not... Uh, there's, there's really no chance that she'll watch this. Touch wood. And... See, the, this, the exaggeration on this one's getting better. With a bit more practice, kind of getting back into the game. We're starting to see some looser sketches. And some better likenesses. There's that timer. Oh, it's not actually on the top. Hey! What are you doing? Uh, Always on top. Why are you? Why are you disappearing? I don't know. I don't care. Let's move along. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the eyes a bit, like that. Take a step back. Zoom out a little bit. See what we got so far. Yep. Uh huh. Where is that line coming from, exactly? Alright. Deselect. So... We'll go ahead and do the, the, the hair texture, I guess. You know, as, as uh, Fribblob in the chat did suggest, yes, boggle eyes. Uh, in critiquing myself at this point, I could have made it even bigger. But, um, then again, you never know. Her face... Uh, it might make her look too young <laughs> if I make the eyes too big. I don't know, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a game of relationships. Sounds like a really boring version of Game of Thrones. I wouldn't watch it. So just drawing the hair texture in a bunch of clumps. In generally or kind of a direction of where the hair's going. I'm, I'm sort of randomizing it, really. So I can get that, uh, get that look. And let's do those eyebrows. Yeah, okay. We've got a good likeness here so far. How about we go ahead and do the pupils? And then we could even go ahead and color it in. I'm just going to leave a little spot there for uh, some reflective. And we might even darken up the sides of her eyes. Because there is a whole lot of eye makeup happening here. Like, overboard, man. Okay. See, even then I think I've made her... Her eyes may be a little bit too big now because the more makeup, that's why women put makeup in their eyes, it makes their eyes look bigger. Um, and I'm thinking I might kind of tone down the size of the eyes. It's more about the angle of these eyes, I think, for me. There we go. It's a bit better. Um, 
I might start off coloring. How much time? We got like uh, maybe two, two or so minutes to color. I'm in the rush and do some loose coloring. White for the eyes, of course. You can just be really loose with it and then paint it back in. And color the jacket, I suppose. Oh, you know what's wrong with the hair? Not that it needs to be bigger, but that it needs to come back around the back of the, eye, the ears a bit more. It's sitting on top of her head too much right now. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fix that up a little bit. And I think we'll get a bit more, a bit more likeness if we do this. <laughs> I'm wearing a Freddy Krueger shirt. This is that's interesting. Does does Freddy Krueger wear a frickin' top hat? He does, doesn't he? Or, or something like that, like a bowler hat? Oh my god, I'm doing the whole Freddy Krueger thing. I didn't even realize. Perfect for Halloween. Now we'll go ahead and uh, I'll just select a general. Orangey brush, do that hair. And then we could go ahead and uh, might grab my little hairbrush and Mmm, do some highlights. Oh well, the brush is really kind of going slow again. It's very irritating. It has obviously hasn't really been fixed. Sometimes this thing, this tablet, just slows down and and tries to figure out why I'm not using Cortana and uh, tries to update the start menu and put all sorts of new advertisements in and stuff. God, I'm, I'm this close to being a Mac user after all this rubbish. Windows 10, like, come on now, honestly. Put a bit more volume in the hair. I suppose we could do some shading. But not too much. And uh, some more stuff that she features is uh, obviously the eyeliner. So, I mean, that right there is uh, pretty instantly um, a lot of the likeness. She's got some red lipstick. I've got this set to multiply for some reason. I'm just being really loose with this. I can't, I really can't be kind of as detailed or you know, as, as I want. Just because this mouse is going quite slow and it's really annoying me. But let's just move along. Try and push through it and I'll fix it up another day. Some highlights because why not? And then we're good. 
All right, critique time. I'd say, um, I, I, I would want to, I'd, I'd like to color that hair with more finesse. I'd probably bring her eyes closer together. Um, and exaggerate the eye makeup a bit more. And her mouth is a little bit bigger than what I've drawn there, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's possible for a, a live caricature gig. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we'll move right along. Next. Let's do it again. Ray Bradbury. Wow. Who's he? Author of The Martian Chronicles. I must have been living under a rock. All right. Let's put this over here. I'm going to bring this into my reference. Oops. Let's see if that's still working all right. Okay, perfect. Ray Bradbury, let's draw him. Hey, man, this guy, this guy's a walking caricature. I don't even have to try. All right. Okay, thinness of the eyes, the nose is large but not long. Chin is large. Mouth is small. And there's no, I mean, the neck is, there's no, well, there's no chin. There's more of a dub, double chin. And the glasses are obviously a large part of his identity. I'm going to make this one a bit more quirky. There's really not too much you can go wrong with here when you got a, when you got a face like this. Some faces are harder, you know. The um, uh, the faces of beautiful people are quite difficult. Um, just because there's not a whole lot to really play around with, and it's not much fun. All right, let's do this. Got my black brush. And I'm coloring those glasses a little bit more. I'm not a big fan of coloring in on the tablet because it's just you don't get smooth lines when you're trying to really drill in a bit and color stuff in. At least I don't. <laughs> Especially when the brush is going so bloody slow. Alright, well there's a... I'm going to make the eyes quite small. Because they're, we don't really need to put any priority on his eyes in particular. I'm going to let everything else come through by making those features smaller. I'll bring it over a little bit more. So we can get out of the way of that thing. And of course the crow's feet there. I like this guy's face. It's very fun to draw. So we're getting a bit more energy out of this because there was a lot more energy in the sketch. I'm going to hide the sketch now. I'm going to continue. 
And I'll just draw the pupils. I can't even see the eyebrows beneath the, the glasses, but that doesn't seem to matter. I might just draw some shading into the hair a little bit. Just so I don't have to do it so much on the colouring stage. I might even get like a huge thick brush and just really thicken these eyes, these eyeglasses. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with the flow of that, I'm happy with the likeness. Time to move on to the colouring. Let's be really loose with this. And then back to colouring in the eyes. And the teeth, with white. At this point I would want to... <laughs> bring in a little bit more... Um, red, so to speak, on that nose. And the lips. Real quick. And then around the edges of the skin, I might might make a bit of shading going on. See, I've got a I've got a lower opacity brush right now, and it's just kind of working out nice for some skin texturing. And when you're drawing someone with glasses, you might want to make the eyeglasses a little bit lighter. Just so you can see there is some sort of glass reflection. So I've got a low opacity brush, I'm going to get some white. Just colour those eyeglasses in a bit. Okay. Now we might just do the hair. And so we're starting to get a bit more, um, after a couple of draws, you, you kind of get better. You kind of start to like your stuff. <laughs> we are our own worst critics. Alright, I'm willing to call out finished. Um, yeah, critique, I guess, uh, I would have, uh, I'm quite happy with that, I would have been happy with that for, uh, if I did that in a live setting. Um, it looks like the subject, and, uh, it's got enough of the likeness there to be, to be swell. I'll do another one. I think I'll do one more, guys, and I'll leave it at that. All right, what's our last 
Celebrity. Adrian Pazdar. Heroes. Okay, I didn't really see heroes, but uh, I can see where, how I would exaggerate this guy. I can see a tall face. I can see square jaw, wide no, a wide mouth, and prominent hair. So we'll work with that. And again, in the sketch stage, you want to just do something really loosely. I'm going to start off with a with the shape of the head this time. Oh, his eyebrows are quite big, aren't they? This guy looks like a pretty square, 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 square. And I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna really make his his hair stick up a little bit. All right, quick sketch. I'm happy with that. I'm ready to move on. Let's do that. All right, so let's go ahead and I might draw those eyebrows in. I, I kind of I kind of start off wherever I feel like, really. Uh, mainly where I see particular facial features and then as I perceive them I kind of draw them in. Now his eyes aren't small and squinty. They're big-ish. And those sides of his face are quite... I'm gonna bring that mouth closer to his nose. And I'm going to make his chin bigger, because his chin is just rather large. See, I'm already pretty happy with that. And I'm ready to move on to the next stage, which is... I probably... This guy probably has quite a lot of, uh... Quite a lot of forehead, I think. Which is what I'm missing here. Yeah, there we go. I'll bring his hair up a little bit more. To compensate. And I like to accentuate the square jaws by kind of pulling them out a bit. Okay, we've got the likeness. We're ready to color it in. I'm going to hide the sketch layer. And we'll just go ahead and use some swatches to color that in. Really loosely, you don't have to go all the way to the edge. <laughs> Thanks, Frib. Flib, flib, frib. Flib, flib. Flip, 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 yop, yop. Yeah, I think this one's pretty good. We're getting there. We're getting some more. I think, uh, you know, you guys might find too, like it happens to me. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you, you, the first couple of drawings you do are just like, uh, yeah. You know, they're okay, but, uh, and then you start drawing more and more and you kind of get a feel for the flow and, and kind of how to muck around a little bit more. And just start having fun with it. It's all about that, really. You get into the zone, you start having fun with it. What I might do is a little bit of skin shading, I guess. And that's a little bit too dark. 
Oh, that'll do. Because he's got a bit of uh, shading underneath the eyes there. A bit of darkness under the eyes. And then we can just start to do the hair, and I think we, we're almost done with this guy. And so my likenesses have improved. I've done one, two, three, four, five, six drawings so far today, and uh, I'm starting to have fun, starting to get a bit more, a bit more into it. Because I'm starting to see better results each time. And then uh, a little bit of stubble, I suppose. Low opacity, grey brush. And then we can just do a bit of stubble in there. There we go. I'll call that done. Why about some highlights? I like some highlights. Everyone likes some highlights. I'm not going to draw his lip color because I don't think it's that important. But yeah. Good and okay result that time. Let's call that done. I might do another one. I'm having fun. Really, what I... <laughs> I should have left a lot more space on the canvas for him, but uh, let's try and do a female this time. Let's see what we get. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, shut up. Let's go to another one. Random celebrity... Random lists. Um, Gold Shifter Farahani. I like it. It's got a ring to it. Let's, let's do that. Okay. Be nice if we could get like a three-quarter view, but uh, that's pretty good. We can roll with that. Bring that into my reference. Alright. Getting rid of those other layers. And we'll set up some new layers. Okay, so I'm looking at this, uh, eyes are not large, not overly large, they're sort of close together. Thin nose. Not long though. The eyebrows are probably the, the main feature here. And, uh, how about we start the clock? See how we go from there. Fairly big lips. The upper lip is quite large. I mean, we'll have a look at what shape the chin is. I don't think the chin is too, too large-ish. But, um... Gonna be a li little bit more uh, conservative on this one.
All right, I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to the line. And I think uh, the main thing about this is the eyebrows and the way they kind of arch away from each other up on the top there. There's also a bit of texturing at the end of them. And they run off quite a way away. Yeah, it's all a process. I might find that I, I've i done the eyebrows too big later on and I might change them then, but I think at the moment I'm quite happy with them. And kind of a wide, whitish face, I suppose. It kind of there's not some not not many bumps to it. I think the chin could stand to be a little, a little bit smaller on my drawing. I'm going to bring these down a little bit. And, uh, I mean, what else? What else can we say about this? I think I'm happy with that. I might just put a bit more eye makeup on there because she's got that quite a bit of it going on. Just got to get those uh, those irises positioned quite right, and leave a little bit of a reflective in there. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty okay. I could have I could have made the chin a little bit more angular. Um, how are we doing on time? We've got two minutes left. Probably not enough time to do much of the colouring. But uh we'll go ahead, we'll colour in that uh that hair. That's done pretty well. And uh, let's go ahead and put some skin color in then, I suppose. <laughs> oh yeah, there's mutton chops. Uh, thanks for the suggestion, Frib, in the chat. Uh, in YouTube, you've just uh, suggested... That I forgot the mutton chops. I didn't even see those. Yeah, I'm looking elsewhere. Yeah, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tip. The top tip. I'll have to add those in, huh? Mutton chops. Check them out. They're pretty serious too. I don't know how I missed them.
All right, very nice. And we'll just color in. Eyes. A little bit of the mouth, I suppose. And uh, maybe a bit more ear detail. I'm kind of rushing this a little bit. We're running out of time. How about some skin shading real quick? If the brush will please catch up with me. And definitely some of that shading under the eyes. Or the under, under the eyebrows, that is. Okay. Pretty much done. I mean, uh, about as good as you're going to get, I suppose, in the short term. But uh, what I'd like to do is just add some color, add some highlights, because, you know... Come on, we want highlights. I want highlights. Size down the brush a little bit. Yeah. Now uh, that would have been... Yeah, that would have been fairly successful if I if that was in a live situation. I'd like to add a little bit more, um... A little bit of hair texture. Um, I don't know, I'm inclined to disagree with you, Flib, about the upper lip. In this picture, at least, I think she has a... Her upper... If, if the subject's upper lip is bigger than the lower lip, that, to me, is very... is quite rare, and that counts as something that you should exaggerate. But, you know, it's all subjective. That's just how I've chosen to, to play it, I suppose. Let's get rid of this. Bring it down. I might just do one more five minute. And, uh, uh what, what else we got? You know what? I'm going to leave it at that today. Um, because I need to go to the bathroom and I got to eat and I got, uh, you know, plans to feed. <laughs> So, very important day coming up. Um, yeah, I, I, I've had enough. It, we've gone for long enough. I might go, I'll do this again tomorrow, and um, hopefully I'll catch you guys then. Uh, of course, take a look at my Patreon page if you want to support me um, for just a dollar a month. I think you can, you can, there's some different tiers you can actually get involved with what I'm doing here. You can, you can suggest which celebrity I draw next, or you can suggest you can send in your own photos of you or your friend and i can draw you guys on the screen so there's lots of little bonuses on patreon um if you want to support me to do more videos like this and uh, and some more tutorials exclusive tutorials for patreon uh patrons so yeah thanks very much guys and i'll uh, i'll see you again soon